Very good afternoon to everyone present here today. We welcome you to a very special session with a very special guest in line with last year's theme of climate change. So we have decided to bridge climate change and inequality for the small session. At the young age of seven, Lisipriya Kangujam began advocating for the immediate need to combat climate change and reduce natural disasters. She's an outspoken activist demanding stricter laws be put in place to battle climate change and make climate change education mandatory in schools. In 2018, Lisipriya initiated the Child Movement, which aims to tackle climate change and protects the right rights of young children in the face of devastating natural disasters. She is the youngest recipient of the T.N. Kursu Memorial Award and received the World Children Peace Prize in 2019. Ms. Supriya Kangujam is a name we are all going to be familiar with in the next few years as she continues to raise her voice in an effort to make India a safe and secure land for future generations. Ms. Lisipriya, I hand it over to you now. Um, hi, everyone. <laughs> Thank you so much, um, Sarla Anil Modi School of Economics um, for inviting me here in this program. I had born in Manipur, which is a small northeastern state of India, but I have grown up in Bhubaneswar, Odisha. My birthplace is surrounded by lush green mountains and alluring atmosphere. In 2016, I came to Delhi for the first time. But my life became very messy due to the high air pollution and it turns me into a child climate activist. Later, I had moved to Bhubanesh for Odisha for my schooling and again my home in Odisha was hit by Cyclone Titli in 2018 and Cyclone Fani in 2019. All such incidents in my young life turned me into a child climate activist. When I was just around four years old, I accompanied my dad for rising funds for the victims of the deadly. Massive Nepal earthquake of the, of the victims, where more than 1,000 people died and lakhs of people got injured. We went to Nepal all the way from the, by the road to drop the foodstuffs, medicines, clothes, etc. for the for the victim, children, and families. I get scared when on television I see people suffering and dying due to lack of awareness. I cry when I see children losing their parents or children becoming, becoming homeless due to danger of disasters. My country has many disasters like earthquake, flood, landslide, heat wave, cyclone, air pollution, typhoon, etc. at the same time. These are all the impact of climate change. Um, that was the first time where I hear the words climate change and natural disasters. But I couldn't realize what exactly it is as I was a small baby that time. And now I realize that this could be the main reason why I'm concerned about our planet and our future. Um, and we don't treat our planet with love and respect it deserves. In July 2018, when I was just six years old, I got a chance to attend one United Nations Disaster Conference in Mongolia. It was my life-changing event. After returning back from Mongolia in July 2018, I have started my organization called the Child Movement to call the world leaders to take immediate climate action to save our planet and our future. Child movement is a movement for children, like you can say it's a people movement for climate justice. Child movement does lots of activities, campaign and lots of climate strike, climate protests and also we plant lots of trees with the school children, with my climate activist friends and with many people around the world. And also we give lots of awareness even about water also and how to save our planet and our future that we should not cut trees, we should plant more trees, we should not use single use plastic and we should always use public transport and and also um, you see I'm just nine years old. Why should I worry about the climate change? Why should I concern about the global warming? Why should I um, talk about the various environmental issues happening around the world. I have to read my books, I have to play with my friends, I have to study, I have to enjoy my beautiful childhood life. 
but our leaders ruined all our beautiful childhood life. Climate change is not only for me or someone else or for you. Climate change problem is for every single person living in this world. Each and every child living in this country, living in this world, are already the victims of climate change. That's why I'm fighting to save our planet and our future. You can just see in Delhi how air pollution is so dangerous. Even children can't move out of their homes. I'm worried about the health of the school children and small babies. Government announced that, that they will be they will ban the firecrackers for two three weeks, will install two three smoke tower in two three places. But these are not the permanent solution. We don't want any temporary solution, we want permanent solution. And also you can just see in Arctic and Malias how icebergs are melting twice as fast than ever before, and our sea level are increasing, and our earth is becoming very hot. I'm worried about the future of our planet and many biodiversity hotspots become climate hotspots now. I think you all heard in the news about Australia bushfire, California wildfire, Amazon rainforest fire and Siberia forest fire. Billions of animals have died. Millions of trees have gone. I am really very sad. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't even take my food. Many children lost their homes, but these are all the real effect of climate change. Why our leaders don't have the time to hear all our voice, but this is a real climate emergency. They must act now to save our planet and our future. And also, I have a small message to all the children of the world. Children must tell their parents that they should walk if it's nearby or they can use the bicycle. Don't use car or bikes every time. And children must tell their parents that they shouldn't cut trees. If they got one tree, then down minimum 10 or 20 trees. And also, I want every um, every children's home uh, not to have plastic. And, and they should not throw garbage or plastic on streets, ocean, rivers, seas, or any other places. And also... Um, I want um, many children and many people to plant lots of trees and also uh, I have started one new initiative called Monday for Mother Nature where I plant thousands of trees with the school children with the mission to plant 1 million trees every year. So far we have planted over 3.5 lakhs trees. And also, um, people always tell me that you are too young to get involved in such activism. But I prove them that age doesn't matter to make a bit to make a difference. I'm big or small, it doesn't matter. I'm a good child. I'm strong, smart, intelligent, and brave. Many children and youth inspire from me. And I have three main demands to our leaders and the government to change the system. Number first is to pass this climate change law as soon as possible from the paper to become action. If they pass this climate change law, then we can control the carbon emission and greenhouse gases. And also, um, it will. Um, I know number second demand is um, to include climate change as a compulsory subject in our school education curriculum. Um, if they included climate change as a compulsory subject in our school education curriculum, then we can fight the climate change from the grassroots and it will also save our health from um, and also um, it will also teach our world leaders by their own children and grandchildren because they can't believe in science and climate change is real. Number third demand is to um, till, uh, every student must plan minimum 10 trees every year. In India, there are 350 million students. If 350 million students plant uh, one tree every year, minimum 10 trees every year, then we would plant over 3.5 billion trees. Trust me, India will be green in after five years. And also, today I want to share something with everyone living in this world from my little herd. 
We all know we are facing a pandemic on one side and flood, drought, heat wave, cyclone, locust, air pollution, typhoon, cyclone, etc. on the other side. Now, this is the time to wake up. This is the time to open up our eyes. This is the time to send your children and grandchildren to fight for the survival and for their own future. The best gift parents can give to their children is not a beautiful house, expensive cars, lots of money. The best gift you can give to your children is a beautiful planet. To give this planet, you have to change yourself. If you can change yourself, then you can change your family. If you can change your family, then you can change your neighborhood. If you can change your neighborhood, then you can change your community. If you can change your community, then you can change your state. If you can change your state, then you can change your country. If you can change your country, then you can change the whole world. Change means empowerment. Empowerment means independent. Independent means freedom. Freedom is when you can protect your land and environment. Freedom is when you can protect your children's future, culture and health. Freedom is when no one can discriminate you on the basis of caste, creed, color, sex or any other differences. Freedom is when you can read and write. Freedom is when you are out of hunger. Freedom is when we are all together in this fight. Fight for your freedom. Thank you, Jai Hind, Sanali Bhamani Purna, yes, thank you once again. Thank you so much for this insightful conversation with us. We are honored to have you at EdgeCon and we will continue to stand by you as you advocate for policy against climate change. Thank you so much. Here is, here is President EdgeCon, Ms. Ananita Jena, for the vote of thanks. On behalf of the entire team, I would like to extend my gratitude to Lissi Priya for taking time out from our busy schedule and joining us here today. I would also thank like to thank everyone who joined us today, without whose support this wouldn't have been possible. We look forward to seeing you tune in for our session on intellectual property rights at 6 p.m. today. Okay. Thank you so much, ma'am. Now I have another uh, event. If you want to, uh, if uh, there is only um, questions for me, then you can ask maximum two questions or, um, or not. Mm. Um, so I have uh, another event um, and thank you so much for inviting me here. I'm so happy to be with you all. Thank you so much. It was a great talk. <laughs>